Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news our currency strengthened across the board overnight. This follows a restart in the rise of the Chinese yuan, which yesterday reached an all-time high against the US dollar. For more than three months, Chinese authorities had halted its gradual rise as uncertainty grew about the state of the Chinese economy. But now the gloom has seemed to lift. The appreciating trend has restarted. Our currency rose overnight too and is ending the week up 100 basis points on the TWI, following last week's rise of 200 basis points. We're even rising against the Aussie, almost back to 88 Aussie cents, and the Chinese currency almost back to 5 yuan. Yesterday's monetary policy statement, which indicated inflation is expected to rise resulting in OCR increases next year, underpinned the currency's direction. The generally rosy economic data is driving expectations that New Zealand will be among the first developed nations to raise interest rates since the global financial crisis. In the US, initial claims for unemployment benefits drop sharply, but only for technical reasons, so markets are ignoring that data. But the number of mortgage foreclosures also fell sharply. In Europe, they have brought 130 of their biggest banks directly under the supervision of the ECB and brought the ECB under the European Parliament oversight. These changes have taken a long time to be made and they sideline national banking regulators. Australian unemployment rose to 5.8% in August, near the 5.9% post-financial crisis peak, underscoring the challenge for the incoming Abbott government as their economy continues to slow. Locally, the Real Estate Institute's August sales data, which was expected yesterday, is now expected to be released today. Gold has fallen another $35 and is now $1,325 an ounce. Oil is up and US Treasury 10-year bond yields have fallen again today and are now down to 2.88%. The Dow is unchanged in late trade. The New Zealand dollar is ending the week at 81.4 US cents, 87.9 Aussie cents and the TWI is at 76.5. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.